to thrive on pressure and performing on the big occasion. Now they get their wish. Fans the world over are fully focused on this atmospheric stadium where the drama is about to be played out over the next 90 intriguing minutes. Who will prevail? Keep it here with us, the home of football, EA TV. Excitement and anticipation ahead of kickoff time. Here we are at the Estadio de Montelivi. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham, and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And on the menu for you today, live action from La Liga EA Sports. It is Girona versus Cadiz. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And here's the Girona starting 11. Juanpe plays alongside Daly Blint in central defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. He's managed to lose his marker. And a chance to whip it in here. And the keeper flings himself at the ball. Played over and making sure it wasn't problematic. Roger. I'm just leaning back a bit and over the bar. Well, he knows that was a big chance to take the lead there. They've just got to keep plugging away. Herrera. Now options are plenty. Well, for Girona, you have to conclude everything went to plan in the win against Atletico. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, Derek, the table doesn't lie, does it? So far, they've been the best team in the league. They play good football, have an excellent coach, and I'm expecting more of the same again today. It is to be a throw-in. Alex Fernandez, Escalante with it. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Good tackle taken away. Roger. And defensive play to be applauded. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, in many ways, he's a throwback to the 80s in the way he plays. He's so strong when holding up the play. He can outmuscle opponents. Today, the defenders will certainly know they've been in a battle. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own but really sticking to the task defensively. Alvaro. Juan Peck. Don't pick. A creative look about this. Yangel Herrera. And on to Villa. A very timely interception. Alvaro. Lost possession. Oh, this is looking promising. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, it's 
great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. Well, he can't control his delight, can he? It's a wonderful moment for his team. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? A oh, big opportunity! Well, that was the chance to extend the lead. Well, that's a waste, really. He's got to hit the target there. forthcoming Valeri and possession given away Ocampo promising attack this but they dealt with the threat posed Dolphic. Oh, he's given us away. Really vital interception here. Chris Ramos. Oh, surely! And the keeper showing tremendous command. Delivering it. The clearance wasn't decisive. The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Didn't have the trajectory necessary to get it beyond the wall. Juan Pe. Tony Villa. Chance maybe to use the counter-attacking ability to good effect. Can he put it away? Oh, good work by the keeper. Who can he pick out? Not quite the accuracy he was looking for. That'll be a goal kick. Now will the keeper have to pay the price for that mistake? Juan Pe, Yangel Herrera, Dolpic. Oh, might be. 
determined defending. Ocampo. Chris Ramos. Well, this could really help the cause. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. Well, there it is. The half-time whistle has sounded. The first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the Montelivi. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Yeah, he's had a good first half, hasn't he? Looked lively, created plenty of chances and rewarded for his industry with that key goal. Hopefully he can keep that momentum going into the second half now. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. And they've played their way into trouble. Herrera. Dovbik. Very quick thinking there. Well, this is the home of live football and excited to have more action from La Liga coming up for you. It's Girona facing Sevilla. Big chance! And the keeper there to deal with it. And over it comes. Good clearance. And that is the sort of tackle he had scripted in his mind. Artem Dovbik. And on to Villa. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Roger Escalante with it Well they want that equaliser but the passing remains smooth They're Just lacking that little bit of guile Yangel Herrera Borja Garcia And in the right position to read it. Borja Garcia. Well, this is the home of live football and we have more action from La Liga coming up for you. It's Cadiz and they'll be facing Mallorca. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of quality in those two sides. Certainly one to enjoy. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Ibrahima Kebe. Tony Villa. KB. It should be. And they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change.
Moving into the advanced position. Wilting under the pressure. And now they try to go forward. And the defensive intervention there. Will he finish? And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Back to the drawing board, I'm afraid. His team have been really poor today. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. So there might be a threat, but not so in the end. Good defending. 20 minutes to go in this one. That's a good-looking ball. Will it be? Brilliant save. Well, the fans can sense they have the momentum here, creating plenty of chances, but can they make it count? Foul there, free kick awarded. of running room now on the wing will he play it in and they could eat into the lead a goal and it's very much game on here well as the replay shows this is all about his ability to find space in the box which then makes the finish look so much easier that's good play from him So there we have it, 2-1. Juan Pe. Now with Villa. Ibrahima Kebe. Under some pressure here. And the keeper nowhere to be found, not that he's complaining. Well, as you can see, he has to get rid of that quicker. That's a poor mistake from the keeper. Underway again with the score at 3-1. Ocampo. Good run, very much in control of the situation. And a useful cross. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. And smuggled behind for the corner. So the corner played into the box. And drawing it back. What a vital intervention. Garcia. And on to Villa. Interception to snuff out the danger.
Christian Estuani closing down well must be in position and the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save so two substitutes to come on in one go And there's the delivery. Not away completely. And I think the threat has been averted. Alex Fernandez. Chance maybe to use the counter attacking ability to good effect. As eyes for goal. Oh, that surely had to go in. But marvellous defending. And he's fired over the corner. Well, not the best clearance. Couldn't quite hang on. Well, thank goodness for the goalkeeper. Well, they're calm now, but that initial save was absolutely magnificent. An advantage coming into play, and rightly so. This is looking threatening. And able to close down the shots. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stewart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.